Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this. Let's get to it. Click on effects, bring in the fusion comp, put it on the timeline, right click on it, open its infusion page. Now in the media pool, I pulled in the clip, dunes, let's drag that to the node grid. Let's close the media pool, let's drag that to the left viewer, bring in the text, lost node. Let's drag that to the right viewer. Let's just type resolve. I want to change this to this font squadder one. Increase the size a little bit. Let's say 0 0.2. Go to transform. Rotate this by 75 degrees so it feels like it's hit some gut. Now let's bring in a grid warp node. Now for the grid warp node, let me do bring in the merge node. Put this on the foreground and put this on the background. Let's check that to the right viewer. So I want to position the text. Let's go to layout. Let's drag that down a little bit so it sits on here. But I want this corner here to bend down a little bit. So I go to the grid warp. I go to settings here. I go to magnetic. And I click on this, drag this edge down a bit, drag this edge down a little bit. And uh, if you click out to have this thing kind of bent to the terrain. So I'm going to grid warp again and just pull this out like so. So it just has a subtle, subtle wrap around the horizon effect. Okay. So you see, this is a video, right? So I'm going to bring in a planar tracker node shift space bar planar planar tracker at that i'm going to connect that to connect the footage to the planar tracker let's drag that to the right viewer so the part where i want the tracker to focus on is just the part where the text is i'm going to click click and cover that part like so then i go to the under inspector Go to the first frame and I go to set. Set the tracker to hybrid point area. Set the motion type to perspective. And then I just track forward. Okay, that's done. And I'll click on this button here. Create pin tracker. Once I click on that, it will create this node here. I can delete this pin tracker here. I don't need it anymore. This is all I need. I can move this much here, disconnect this, put this pinner transform here, connect this good work to the pinner transform. And if you connect this now to this foreground here and drag this here, you'll see that the text, you see the text move along with the footage. And we can disconnect this. I just use all this to make sure it is positioned correctly so the next thing we do is to have this text wipe in so from here to here the text just wipes in so i'm going to bring in the polygon mask node here and still pull the media in down here let's like drag that here let me zoom out a bit let me just draw something random like this just make the edges not so uniform like so Click on here, click on here, and join it together. So we have something like this. Move it up a bit. So we have it like so. So we can zoom out here, select, click on the polygon, select all these points. Press shift S to smoothen it out. We we'll drag this polygon here, bring a transform node. Bring a transform node here, connect this polygon to the yellow input of the transform node. Let's drag that here. So what I want is I want us to show where the transform moves this mask from this edge to this edge. So I'm just going to go to frame zero, go to the transform, keyframe it and drag it to the side. Like so, and I go to the last frame. Drag that across till it covers the whole screen, and that's that. I go to spline editor, 
go to displacement, click on zoom to fit, select all the keyframes and press the smooth button. So we have this going on. So close the spine editor. We drag that here, just have this coming across. We use this now to be the mask for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a blur node here. Connect this to the blur node. I drag the blur node to the left viewer. So I come to the middle point here. I want this blur to be about 50. And I use this now as a mask, as a mask for this. To get that to happen, I bring a matte control node. Right click on the output of the blur, drop it on the matte control node. Click on garbage mat. Ensure the mat control is selected. Under inspector, expand garbage mat and click on invert. So if I drag this here, there's no input to the mat control node, so there's nothing shows. So I'm going to drag the output of the planar transform and connect that to the mat control node. So if you drag this forward, you see the text resolve coming through. To generate the particles that will, that will wipe this in, I'm going to bring in a merge node. I'm going to bring in another transform node. Connect the output of this transform node to the input of this transform node. Now this transform node, I'm just going to increase the center x to 0.6 and connect this transform to the foreground of this merge. Connect this transform to the background of this merge. To drag that to the left where we have this. For this merge one, I can just go to inspector, go to operator and click on held out. So you see we have this thing here. Now let's bring in a blur node. Connect this to the blur node. Now for this blur node, I drag it to the left view. I'll set this to 25. Bring in a particle emitter node. Bring this in. Let's drag this to the right. Bring in a particle renderer node. And I want to, between this, I want to bring in a P turbulence node, particle turbulence node, connect that and connect this to the particle renderer. Now for the particle renderer, I want to change this to 2D. And for the particle emitter, I want to go to region, set the region to bitmap. You see this appears here. I can connect this now as the region where I want the particles to emit from. So I connect that like so. Now for the particle emitter, let's drag this to the right viewer, the render to the right viewer, nothing really is showing. We go to particle emitter, go to style, change the style to blob, and go to size controls, set this to 0 0.5. I want the size of our light to drop, so I just drag it down a little bit like so. When I go to fade controls, set the out to 0 0.7, so it kind of gently fades up. We go to controls for particular meter, set the number, let's say from 15, set the value here to 100, keyframe this, go to about 45, set this to 1000, and set this to randomly distributed. Expand velocity, set the velocity to 0.065, the variance to 0.1. What is driving this emitter is this white stuff. But I want the color of these particles to derive from this here. If I drag this to the left viewer, and you see, I want the color to derive from this. So, what I'm going to do is move this whole thing, move this back like so then bring in a mat control node connect the media in to this mat control node so drag this here then from the blur right click on this drop this in the mat control node and click on garbage mat for this mat control node go to inspector expand garbage mat and click on revert i drag this to the this to the left view so we have this band and now I want this band to now be the region for the particular emitter. Now, what now happens is if I go to the particular emitter, I can go to the color under controls and say use color from region. So it uses that color. But I don't want 
the emit at also emit at this point i want it to start from where the dune is at this point so what i'm going to do is go to go to this bring all of these forward a little bit bring another matte control node i'm sure there are better ways to do this but right now i can't think of any other way i bring in a rectangle mask node and connect right click on this and drop this on the mat control node and click on garbage mat click on mat control node go to garbage mat and click on invert now for this rectangle mask i can set the soft edge to 0 0.1 i'll click on this and drag the rectangle mask to the bottom a little bit I can increase the height a little bit drag it off a bit so this way it doesn't cover the sky and then the width I want it to be full width like so one P turbulence for P turbulence set the strength to 0 0.75 the Y strength to 0 0.75 and uh, then the density give it at 10 for this renderer node I'm going to bring in a soft glow no cheek space bar. Soft glow. Connect this to the soft glow node. Like that's the right viewer. Has a beautiful look already. Now what we're going to do is now you see that if we drag this text here to the left where we have the text showing here. Now this text, I want the text to take its color from the media in this media here. I want to pick a dark color here, so I'm just going to bring a bright ground node. Connect the output, this output here, connect it to the background node, so we have this showing, which is the color of the background node. So if I drag this media in here, I can just use this color picker here and pick a color here, something like this is fine, and then we have the color for the text. We use this text now. I bring in my bevel tool, so we go to effects. You can download the bevel tool, link in the description, it's free. Click on DT, let's go to bevel and drag that to the viewer. Connect this to the bevel tool, drag that to the left viewer, close effects. We zoom in, you see it's a bit of bevel there. Click on this, set the bevel level to three. So it has the sunk in look. Set the intensity to 0 0.25. So it looks sunken. We don't want this to just look so plain. So to add a bit of roughness to it, space bar, add a bit of film grain. You can ignore this part if you are on the free version. Let's drag complexity to 16. We can leave random seed, you can drag it to what you want. Set the size of this to 0 0.001. Let's drag that to the left viewer. Set the strength to 0.5, roughness to 1. And then let's set this. Make sure you tick time lock so it has that sandy look at the same time. So, what I could also do is let's disconnect this bring the macro tool here and connect this here and let's connect this here so if we drag the macro tool here so it just gives it it looks really sandy all right we can now connect we can bring in a merge node now this media in that we brought in here i'll bring this media and connect that to the background and connect this to the foreground. We drag this to the viewer. So we have the text. We're zooming to see the text on there. Go to this and we bring this forward. Then the output of this soft glow will now be on the top to create another merge. Let's move this forward. Let's drag this here. We zoom to fit. And um, we connect this now to the media out. Let's make it a single viewer. Let's play this from the beginning and let's see how it looks. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
See you on the next one. Cheers.